Today, I'm going to show you how to create supertypes and subtypes. You often use them for modeling data in your database, so this is a really useful thing to know. Supertypes let you define a class of objects or entity types at a relatively more generalized level. And subtypes let you define entity types at more specialized levels. For example, if you have to represent different type of customers in a data model, say individual customers and customers that are other organizations, we can define customer entity as supertype and individual customer or person as subtype. Another subtype in this scenario is organization. Let me show you how can we create a subtype representation in a data model. Open ERD Architect Data Modeler. Let us create entity, customer. This is going to be our super type. Let's add another entity. We will name it person. This is a subtype of customer. Let's add another subtype entity, organization. Now we will place a subtype join element on the diagram. Complete the supertype subtype relationship by connecting from supertype to the join. And, then, by connecting the join to all subtypes. We have supertype subtype representation complete. Let me go ahead and generate DDL for all the objects. The current design will produce three tables, corresponding primary keys, and two relationships. One from each subtype, referencing the supertype. Customer entity and corresponding primary key. Person entity and corresponding primary key. Organization Entity and Corresponding Primary Key Two Foreign Keys, One From Person to Customer The Second One, From Organization to Customer Thank you for watching.